Good morning, my QG stars. It's your girl, Lady Q, coming back with the one and two. And if you don't know how I do, welcome to the crew. <laughs> y'all i'm looking real crazy with one lash on and one lash off nine nails on i need to get my nails done but between my hours baby it be it be it be a lot it be a lot but i'll probably get it done um hmm. i don't know probably the weekend i'm out to wash my face i'm out to do my lash this lash came off so i need to put it big and I'm about to get ready for my day. I thought I brought y'all with me. Bring y'all with me. I do have some Q&A for y'all today. Yes! I have some Q&A question and answers for y'all today. Because um, a lot of people have been asking me some questions. So I'm definitely going to have to break the video down into like three different... So right now, I just got out the shower. Right now, I'm about to wash my face. Because I don't wash my face in the shower. I like to get into it, see it, and be in a sink. So I get in the shower and then I wash my face after. Or sometimes I wash my face before I get in the shower. I'm running behind schedule. So we're going to try to hurry up this process and make this shit quick. So I can get to my Q&A. Lego. Use. I have been using this for the last week. Um, my face get really, really, really oily. Um, I use this to kind of detox my face. Um, but I'm still trying to find the best products that I can use that would be perfect for my face. So, yeah, let's get into it. It's like kind of foamy. So, let's stand back from that just a minute. So, I'll have you bending down and stuff. I got a mirror right here. So, I kind of use two squirts. Yeah, so I kind of rub this in all around my face really, really good. It feels really, really smooth. Um. And then I go ahead and take a damp cloth and just pat dry my face. Make it the lashes or do that, you know. And them eyes. Pat dry really, really good. I'm about to brush my teeth. Be back. So yes, I'm about to get dressed right now. And I'm still running late. Still gotta get my eyelashes done. But let's go. to show y'all that yes I am still wearing my faha I'm still wearing my board um not every day I do give my body a break from the faha let me see if I can put y'all down I do give myself a break from the faha I don't wear it every day so Yes, guys. I kind of like this board because it literally slides in. You could slide it right out too. Like you don't have to undo the thing. Unfasten. So I got a medium. I think this is a large, I believe. Or is it a medium? I got another medium, I believe. Which I probably should have. So now... <clears throat> It's time to do my face. I told me to make up, but you know, I probably should. 
But I do my eyebrows and my lashes. As y'all can see, these are my eyebrows. These are my lashes. <laughs> That's what I do. But I come in here in my makeup room. And this is my work room as well. And I do my makeup. And here, this is my last room that I stop by and do my touches up, my touch ups. So, let's get to it. So, depending on how I feel, I would either stand up and do my eyelash or eyebrows, or I would sit down over there. But because I need to move it and make it fast and quick. I'm going to stand up and bust this little one eyelash out real quick. So I can go about my day. But yes, y'all, I, I should have looked at one of the questions while I'm in here getting ready. I'm going to get the question, the first question for you guys when I do my eyebrows. I can't talk while I do this. All right, so the first question is going to be, What's a double BBL? So some people don't know what's a double BBL. And it's crazy because it's kind of new to me too. Because um, I never knew they called it that. I just thought it was a BBL 360. But the double BBL is when you get your hips done and your butt. That's a double procedure. So that's what a double BBL is, guys. I know we learn things, you know, we learn new things every day, B. So I get it. And then the next question is, why did you have, oh, why did you have to bring your own meds? Um, I, So we didn't have to bring our own meds. They did prescribe us medication to put us to sleep. Um, and some pain medication for after we get out of surgery. Um, uh, we had to pay for it, but we did, we, they gave it to us the day before, um, the post, the post-op appointment, they gave us the prescription we filled it and we brought the meds with us the next day for surgery. If you leave your medicine, you have to pay about $250 to get that medicine for the day of surgery. So, don't leave your medicine. The next question is, how much did it cost? It cost a total of $6,700. $6, basically for the package, the massage packages, 10 massages, and the procedure. So, around $67,000. <clears throat> All right, guys, so I'm done. I had to kind of rush this process, the last process. I really didn't get to curl my hair. Um, I just rushed lead it, my baby hair, and that's how we want, that's how we about to give. And then I come in here and I get my jewelry. I need to put the rest of my jewelry in because it's looking a little empty, but don't worry. She gonna be stacked up. But, um, yeah, so the next question is, were you awake? Yes, I were. I was awake. Um, I felt very drowsy. I felt the pain, but I was awake for the whole process. Um, where did you go? I did go to Goals in Atlanta. Um, how long did it take for you to be able to sit on your butt and do it hurts a lot? Oh my God. All right. So, it does hurt a lot to sit on your butt, even after five months, because I'm five months in, and it still does hurt. Like, when I sit, when I lay on my side, it hurts. When I sit on my butt, I feel it. I have to sit on, like, really soft things, because um, anything too hard is definitely going to make it hurt. Look at these shorts, y'all. Look how these shorts look on me. Um, It's definitely going to hurt. What is given? It's given like it's too small. Or maybe because I got the fire on. I don't know. But I'm going to try it on after. I want to see how it looks. That should look gorgeous for real though. Oh my God. Y'all see that? 
Like, I feel like that's the thing that's hurting the most right now is when I sit on my butt or lay on my sides. As well as, um, when you wear certain things around, like, when I wear certain things around my belly, it makes it, um, it makes it swollen more. It swells it up more. And, like, if I wear a bra that's not, like, comfortable like this... And it's like, you know, don't push your bars. I feel like it makes it swollen too because it's not like circulating fluently the right way. I feel like anything tight, like even spandex, certain spandex you can't, like if it grips your waist, you can't wear it. Like I noticed that I have to wear like really, really comfortable, soft things until my body, my stomach is fully, fully healed. So, um, just make sure y'all keep that bolt on if y'all gotta, you know, wear something, you know, tight. Um, I'm still thinking about going to get my second round. Yes, I'm about to go get my second round. <laughs> nah, I really don't know yet. So, help me decide if y'all feel like I need a second round or I don't or I should still wait till the year comes. Tell me what y'all think down below because I am going crazy. Um, some days you're going to like it. Some days you're not. So help me decide, y'all. Let me see if I can get the next question in for y'all. Go to Goals in New York. No, I went to Goals in Atlanta and my surgeon was Dr. Z. All right, guys. So I just answered about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine questions. Um, out of here is Lady Q. Y'all know how I do. I see y'all in the next video. Later. <laughs> so, what's up, guys? Today is August 18th, and I kind of wanted to just do a review on this waist trainer slash my faha because I believe it's really just a waist trainer. Um, so I am five months in. I am going on six months, August 25th. Um, that'll be my six month mark. Um, I really do like this waist trainer because I really feel like it's couturing my body to where I feel like, you know, Dr. Z did the, um, the waist, the way she did the waist. Um, cause I was told Dr. C snatches the waist. And I am starting to feel like my, well, I was starting to feel like my waist wasn't snatched the way I wanted it to be. Um, but I'm going to show y'all in the next video, in another video, um, how much excessive skin that I have in my, on my stomach. Um, like when it's not held in by the waist trainer. So I think I need to really keep the waist trainer part consistent on my journey because it really helps contour my waist the way I want it to be contour. Um, my other waist trainer that I was using, it comes actually above your knees. It comes down and it is really hot wearing that one. Um, and that's like the majority of most of my, um, fives. So, um, sometimes I wasn't wearing it, but I ordered a different one where it's like just the panties and it comes up as a waist trainer and it does have the bra strap, but the, um, this one is definitely much better. I do like this one really, really better. It's actually really loose um, on the buttocks area. It's really um, flexible by the buttocks. It's not firm like the waist trainer. So I really do like that. I think this is a good one for my ladies that's um, getting the double BBL. Um, so your hips and everything is not being, you know, sucked in as well as your stomach. Um, so I have been eating a lot of salt as well. So I do believe that's where some of my swelling is still coming from. Um, so I'm going to minimize the salt um, so I can kind of see how this faha works with um, my body. Because ladies, we have to make sure that we are, you know, getting different faha so we can see how it adjusts to our body. Because not all compression is good for our um, recovery as far as, as far as like the swelling part of it. Um, at least for me, I noticed that when my body is too compressed, um, 
my stomach swells up more than you know it was as like i'll wake up and my stomach is flat and then i'll put something on and then boom my stomach is swell swelled up even more than it was so i'm noticing that so i'm trying to let you guys know um just really monitor your body and what you wear even when it comes to the bra, if you if you can see, I got this bra on purposely so you can see. Even come when it comes to these bras, because I like bras like this for some reason, it causes a lot of pressure on top of your belly, but on top of your belly, right there, and that um help that makes my swelling more um it makes my swelling comes out more. So I need to find different bras like the bra that I had in the previous clip before this one. That's a good bra because it's not um like the sports bra is not really compressing the top of your belly. And then when I have like on certain spandex, I have certain spandex that kind of like have a um firm flap when you pull it to your waist and that firm flap kind of makes my stomach swell up a lot too. So, um and I love spandex like that, so it's kind of crazy. I'm really trying to um adjust to my wardrobe. Um, and start getting things that I feel that's comfortable and sexy at the same time. So um, I got a few outfits that I'm going to, you know, do a try on. So look out for that video um, as well as what other video that I got. I think I said it previous before, but yes, I really do love this waist trainer. I really, 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 really do. It's really comfortable as well. It does has um, like underneath the little waist snaps it does have um just the portion for the um waist trainer where you know it's like a shirt spandex shirt thing but it's really really firm um do you see the way it's really really sculpting my body so i'm gonna be consistent with this faha um the simple fact is that now i don't have to wear the faha that comes to my knees um i won't be so hot and now that winter time is coming i'm gonna be more consistent with it too but this file was only $25 at Amazon, y'all. Well, I'm keep calling it Faha. It's a waist trainer. It's definitely worth it. I think it will definitely be good for our BBL ladies. So if you on um your three if you on your um recovery process and you still want to, you know, waist train, you definitely should That's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, and tell a friend, and tell a friend. Stay prayed up and blessed. <laughs>